Asia League. The stage is set. The moment has arrived. It's the grand final of the Pro Panja League. We are live from Gwalior. And the final is at the historic Gwalior Fort. What a beautiful city. The city of kings and it's in the heart of our beautiful country, India. I'm your host Sarthak and to join me in the commentary box is the arm wrestling expert Pradeep Singh. Pradeep, welcome. How excited are you? Because it's the moment that we waited for eagerly, the grand final. Thank you, Sarthak. And this is the most exciting and entertaining and important day in the life of all the arm wrestlers that are present here. And as you can see, Monster Michael Todd and Rebecca Todd making their entrance at this stage. And fans are also there, the Gwalior boys, Gwalior girls, everyone is supporting the event. Definitely going to be an amazing, amazing night. Totally, and what a proud moment for the co-founder Parveen Dabas, who's, who's on your screen right there. And to conceptualize something like this and take it to such a big level, it's only growing with each moment. Well, growth is inevitable. And 600 athletes showed up prepared but only 20 of them get to be on the final stage. They were the one who proved themselves. They were the one who showed that their strength, their experience level is beyond all of the other athletes that they eliminated during this process to get to the finals. Right, Srinivas, Chandan, Shreya, Arya, Yasa, Rudra, Rahul, Steve, Chetna, Neetu, Mazahir, Dilshad, Yogesh, Jinsi, Jagdish, Samir, Askar, Sachin, Tawheed and Karaj anyone in particular if i have to put you on the spot pradeep who's the winner you want to take a name or you don't want to do that i think we will do that as the matches progress but definitely a big big card there are many many big names the stars of indian arm wrestling present on this card it doesn't get better than this let me welcome from kerala Masahi Saido! Yes, the stage is set. It's two rhinos up against each other. Mazahir Saidu, what an entry. What a roaring entry, making a statement right at the start. Mazahir Saidu is here to make a statement. He's a chartered accountant in Dubai. And when he arm wrestled against a foreign arm wrestler in Dubai in 2021, he lost that match. I asked him about that match and that lit a fire under him. He's now well prepared, more prepared than he's ever been. And he's up against Dilshad MA, 6 foot 3, experienced arm wrestler from Kerala. Goosebumps all the way in this match for everyone watching because these are two giants these are two heavyweights and this promises to be a blockbuster as i said mazahir is more prepared than he has ever been which showed in the prelims and semi-finals he went through everyone quite easily and he went through dilshad as well in the semi-finals and in this first ready go an elbow foul on mazahir dilshad was able to stop the hit and even with that elbow foul Yes, Mazahir acknowledging the fact. The referee squaring the shoulders. Both are looking for the top roll. Body leaning back, applying that back pressure. And Mazahir has hand control and gets the victory. And roars back in the face of Dinshad MA. Shows his dominance. That top roll was unstoppable. Some ferocious intensity, maddening, grueling pressure being applied. And in the end, Mazair Saidu coming up. And look at that. He's trying to intimidate his opponent, sending out a statement. You got to be afraid of me. That's what Mazair Saidu is trying to say. Then you got to feel for the referees, Sergei Sokolov and Mustafa Ali, managing these gladiators, 100 kg plus heavyweights with your own hands. Yeah, for sure, some power and size and muscle on the table. And Mazahir was not happy by just letting his opponent know that he has dominated him in that first round. He wanted to send a statement for the next round as well. And now we are setting up for the second round. The beautiful location. Crowd filled out. 
Yes, the packed stadium continues to cheer these gladiators on and look at Sergei Sokolov, the international referee. And the Indian referee in Mustafa Ali commencing things here and it's looking neck and neck. Yeah, coincidental elbow foul from both. So both were applying too much up pressure. Their elbows lifted. Neither will have the elbow foul because both of them lifted their elbows simultaneously. So they kind of got away lucky here because if one of the guy kept his elbow down, it would have been the foul on another guy. But both of them lifted their elbows accidentally. The referee is setting them up for this round. As you can see, Mazair holding his breath went away a little bit early. No, Dilshad also went away early. Referee giving him the warning. No room for error here. Again, Mazair Saidu leaning back, holding his breath for that for that explosive hit. And Mazahir Saidu hits, but Dilshad is able to come back, take the arm to the center, and get a slip to get to the straps. Yes, the next round will be with the strap. There you can see the slip that came in. Maybe the sweat, maybe a little difficult to get that grip, that chalk helps in there. Yeah, both of the athletes were looking for the top row. That is why it was difficult to hold on to each other's hands. But I gotta say that Mazahir definitely had the better hand control. And Dilshad had to bail out to get to that slip. He was definitely in that weaker position. Pradeep, I want to ask you, is it just the hand from Mazahir or is it specifically the fingers that helped him there i think it is about the entire hand strength starting from the fingers right up to the wrist the wrist the forearm the fingers the shoulder everything comes into play and don't forget those legs it's the strength that the lower body creates it's sent up it's sent to the upper body and every muscle in the body is completely being utilized here Yes, arm wrestling, unlike many people believe it to be, is an entire body sport. And we can see the referee is setting them up. Mazahir again leaning back for the top roll. This time Dilshad having troubles finding the right grip. And he's relying on the referee to give him a fair grip. After 30 seconds, we move on to the referee's grip. The clock is ticking here. I think Dilshad wants that. Master referee squaring the shoulders of Mazahir. Dilshad breathing with open mouth. Mazahir gets hand control and slams the hand of Dilshad right to the pad. Shows his dominance. Superior pronation, superior top roll. Shakes the hand of his opponent and roars to the crowd takes the match comfortably 2-0 victory a dominant victory Mazahir becomes the Pro Punjab League 100 plus kg champion yes the rhino in Mazahir has been awakened completely he takes it in the mammoth 100 plus kgs category and that was something look at that right arm of Mazahir it doesn't look like a human arm that's a giant arm. Do you want to say something? First of all, thank you so much, Dewa uh, sir, Pro Punjab League and Mr. and Mrs. Michael Scott for being here. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I mean, it was a good opportunity for me to be here. Uh, that's all. I'm, I'm very, very excited. Thank you. If there were any doubts as to who the number one 100 plus kg guy in India is, those doubts are cleared now. Coming up, the 65 kg plus category. आपकी किस्मत आपके हाथ भारत का खेल भारत के चैनल पर प्रो पंजा लीग सीजन वन सिर्फ डीडी स्पोर्ट्स पर